Hey there, this is Ilze B. I am a Latvian and I teach Latvian to English speakers. Welcome to day 28 of my Latvian challenge, four words a day. Today is the last day of my 28 day challenge in February, but I hope you will continue learning and I hope you will continue learning four Latvian words a day so that you can learn speaking Latvian within one year. I will not post videos like this every day, but I will provide other important information for those who want to learn Latvian or who are interested in Latvian culture, language and other things. I also have two Latvian language courses. One is available right now for purchase. The name of that course is Sounds and Writing. I teach very thoroughly how to pronounce all the difficult Latvian sounds, Latvian vowels, diphthongs and consonants. And in the description of this video, there is information how to access it. But now I'll tell you what four words I'm going to teach you today. And I'm going to teach you four sentences. In each of those sentences, there will be one new word. My first sentence is Man ir prieks, būt ar jums. Man ir prieks, būt ar jums. It means I'm glad to be with you or I am happy to be with you, or I have a joy to be with you. Ar jums means with you. These are two words that are the last words in this sentence. Jums would be you, but it's not in its default form because it has a preposition ar that stands before it. So I'll teach these two words together. Ar jums. Ar jums. Ar jums means with you. Let's say it together. Ar jums. Ar jums. And the word that stands before the word ar is būt. And you know this word already too. It means to be. It is in its default form. Būt ar jums means to be with you. Būt ar jums. Būt ar Jums. The rhythm is yes, no, yes, yes, no, yes. Boot are jums, boot are jums. Can we say this together? Let's please say it together. Boot are jums, boot are jums. And the word that stands before the word boot is one of the new words, the first new word, and that word is prix. Prieks means a joy or happiness. Prieks. Prieks. Again, in this word we have the diphthong e. Prieks. Prieks. Let's say it together. Prieks. Prieks. One more time. Prieks. Can you say it without me? Please do. And we know the two first words of this sentence. They are man ir. Man ir. And when they are together, it means I have. Man ir. Man ir prieks. Man ir prieks. Let's say these three words together. Man ir prieks. Man ir prieks. And now the whole sentence, it is Man ir prieks, būt ar jums. Do you hear the rhythm? Man ir prieks, būt ar jums. Yes, no, yes, pause, yes, no, yes. Man ir prieks, būt ar jums. Are you ready to say the sentence? Let's try. Man ir prieks, būt ar jums. Let's try again. Man ir prieks, būt ar jums. And please try saying it without me. Very well. The next sentence that I would like to teach you is 
Mani interesē jūsu domas. Mani interesē jūsu domas. And in Latvian it means I care about what you think. Mani interesē jūsu domas. Or I am interested in your opinion. Mani interesē jūsu domas. The last word of this sentence is the second new word. Duomas. Duomas. Literally, it means thoughts. But in this sentence, it means opinion. I am interested in your opinion. Mani interesē jūsu duomas. Duomas. There is a diphthong ua in this word. It's a two-syllable word, so I think you are ready to pronounce it together with me. Duomas. 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 And without me? And it's better to learn it together with the word jūsu. Your. Jūsu duomas. Yes, no. Yes, no. Jūsu duomas. Let's say it together. Jūsu duomas. Once more. Jūsu duomas. And now without me. And now the entire sentence because you know the first two words already. I'll pronounce it first for you to listen. Mani interesē jūsu duomas. Mani interesē Jūsu duomas. Let's try saying it together. Mani interesē jūsu duomas. Once more. Mani interesē jūsu duomas. And now without me. Wonderful. And the next sentence that I would like to teach you is Es gribu, lai jums veicas. Es gribu, lai jums veicas. And in English it means I want you to succeed. Es gribu, lai jums veicas. The last word of this sentence is the third new word for you. Veicas. Veicas. There are two difficult sounds in this word. The first is the diphthong A, and the second is the consonant T. Veitas. 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 Let's pronounce it together. Veitas. 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 And now without me. Good. But I want you to practice saying this word together with the word that stands before the word veitas. And that word is jums. Jums. Let's say it together. Jums. And one more time. Jums. But now the last two words together. Jums veitas. Jums veitas. Jums veitas. And the word that stands before the word jums is lai. This word is usually used to wish something to somebody or something for ourselves. Lai jums veicas. Lai jums veicas means to your success or that you succeed. In this sentence it would be that you succeed. But if there were no words in front of lie, then it would mean to your success. It could be used as a toast. Lie jums veicas. Let's say it together. Lie jums veicas. Lie jums veicas. And one more time. Lie jums veicas. And now the words that start this sentence. You know these words already, therefore I'm not going to drill them a lot. Es gribu. Es gribu. And you already know, it means I want. 
Es gribu. Let's say it together. Es gribu. Another full sentence. It is Es gribu. Lai jums veicas. I want you to succeed. Es gribu. Lai jums veicas. Can we try saying it together? Let's try. Es gribu. Lai jums veicas. Again. Es gribu. Lai jums veicas. And once more. Es gribu. Lai jums veicas. All right. And now the last sentence. We are learning a lot, aren't we? The last sentence that I'd like you to learn is uz sazināšanos. And this new word is quite tough. Sazināšanos. But when you think about the word redzēšanos that you have already mastered, then think of the ending šanos which corresponds to the English ending ing, shanos, shanos. The syllable that stands before this ending shanos is na, na. Let's say it together, na. And now I'll pronounce for you to hear how it sounds when I add it to the ending shanos, na shanos. Na sha nos. Can we say it together? I think we can. Na sha nos. Na sha nos. Once more. Na sha nos. And the syllable that stands before the syllable na is z. Z. It's easy. Z. Z. So if I add it in front of na, then it would be zina sha nos. Zina shanos. Zina shanos. How does it feel? Are you ready to pronounce it together with me? Please try. Zina shanos. Zina shanos. And now I only need to add the prefix sa. Sa zina shanos. Sa zina shanos. Do you know what it means? It means staying in contact or being in contact sazina shanos a long word sazina shanos you can put a small stress on the syllable na sazina shanos sazina shanos and there is one word in front of this word and that word is uz and this sentence means to staying in contact. Uz sazināšanos. Uz sazināšanos. If this sounds difficult, I remind you, I have a course on sounds and writing where I teach all the Latvian sounds such as vowels, diphthongs and consonants. Let's say this last sentence together again. Uz Sazinashanos. Wow! You can always come back to this video and revise. And you can also download the printed version of the summary of this lesson and practice at home by yourself. So I'll remind you of the first sentence that I taught you today. And it was Man ir prieks, būt ar jums. I have a pleasure to be with you. The second sentence was Mani interesē jūsu domas, which means I am interested in your opinion. The third sentence was Es gribu lai jums veicas. I want you to succeed. And the fourth sentence is Uz sazināšanos, to staying in contact. And by that, I'm saying, Atā, lai jums veicas. I am LZB. I teach Latvian for English speakers.